public tributes and memorials for the late Senator John McCain. Governor LePage has directed all U.S. and state of Maine flags to be flown at half staff in memory of the Arizona Senator. Senator McCain made his mark here in Maine. New Center's Clay Gordon went to Bath Ironworks today where a destroyer was built to honor members of McCain's family in the early 1990s. And now it honors the Senator too. The late Arizona Senator John McCain speaking here at Bath Ironworks back in 1994 after a destroyer named after his grandfather and father was commissioned. Senator John McCain and President George H.W. Bush speaking at the commissioning of the USS John S. McCain at Bath Iron Works in 1994. It was built in the uh, late 80s, early 90s, oh, I think 92 it slid down the ways. Mike Keenan is the president of Local 6, representing 3,400 shipbuilders, where the flag is flying at half staff. And they all serve two admirals, a senator. Um, you know, they, uh, they put it all on the line for us. So for us to build them a destroyer, what a privilege. New Center Maine boarded the ship for a rare behind the scenes look at the destroyer while it was still in Maine. Last year, the USS John S. McCain was involved in a deadly collision near Singapore, resulting in the deaths of 10 sailors. The ship is still floating, and now about 30 Maine electricians are on board making repairs in Japan. It's really good to re repair it and put her back on the water. Jeffrey Jones is coming up on 38 years working for BIW and remembers when it was being built. Very proud to build something for such a great guy. He's done a lot for this country and uh, I have a lot of admiration for them. Flags remain at half staff at the ship's home port at Bath Iron Works, never forgetting the family behind the warship. You couldn't ask for a ship to be named after a, a more prominent and, and serving family than the McCain's. Senator McCain is now part of the official namesake of the missile guided destroyer after a ceremony was held on board on July 12th. In Bath, Clay Gordon, New Center, Maine. Repairs to the USS John S. McCain were expected to take a year, but the Navy has not publicly announced when she will sail again.